Hi guys, my name is Nakana and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to be doing the Six the Musical book tag part two. I found that this tag was already created by the time that I posted it and the other one was created by Wild Book Garden so I'm going to be doing her version uh, this time around so I will leave the original video linked down below as well as where I got this amazing t-shirt. I love this t-shirt so much and I literally just got it yesterday and I wore it today and I love it so much. Also, you aren't going to be able to see it but it took me so long to do this little e-girl crown that I'm gonna need you to stop right now, stop what you're doing, go down to the comments and tell me my makeup looks good because I rubbed my face raw on this side trying to get them to match and they still don't because I just didn't do it on this side. So there's that and without further ado, let's just get right into it. You won't try that again. Yeah. I'm not political, and I'm not nasty. I wrote something from the church. Yeah, I'm that sexy. Why did I lose my head? Well, my sleeves may be green, but my lipstick's red. Die. Jane Seymour, the only one he truly loved. Right. When my son was truly born, I died. But I'm not what I seem, or am I? Stick around, and you'll suddenly see more. Yeah. Captain Anna of Cleves. Yeah. When he saw my portrait, he was like, yeah. But I didn't look as good as I did in my pic. Funny how we all discussed that, but never had my say, oh, pick up your ears and the Catherine who lost her head. I had it for my promiscuity outside of wedlock. Lock up your husbands, lock up your sons, key. How it is he and the funds began. So I down, I'm the final wife. I saw him to the end of his life. And a survivor, Catherine Paul. Ex-Wives is a female-centered reimagining or retelling and for this I decided to go with Aphrodite by George O'Connor which is a graphic novel in his Olympian series about obviously all of the Olympians. The reason I picked this is because obviously it centers on Aphrodite but I have never been a huge fan of Aphrodite just because she seemed so shallow but he does a great spin on her within this book specifically in this series that just makes her so great and I it just it's amazing and I highly highly recommend it if you have not read it already it's a super quick read and it's so great the next song is no way <laughs> Are supposed to name a character with strong convictions whom you admire and for this I am going with Sweetie Nair from the There's Something About Sweetie by Sandia Manan. In this book Sweetie is kind of put in a situation in which her mother thinks that her weight is an issue even though it really isn't. She is living her best life being plus size and her strong convictions about how her life is okay lead her to go on this kind of path and journey to prove to everyone and herself once and for all that she can live her life like this and that it's entirely fine and her convictions throughout this book just make her such an amazing character to me she is one of my favorite characters i have ever read she is absolutely amazing and if you have not i highly recommend reading this book next is don't lose your head I would move in with his miss. Wow. I don't know. God, let me read it twice. Like, what was I meant to do? 
The prompt for Don't Lose Your Head is to pick a character who makes terrible decisions but whom you can't help but love or sympathize with. I know in my first round of this I picked the exact same character in the exact same book, but Evie O'Neill from The Diviners, I feel like she just has this Anne Boleyn vibe all the way and I absolutely love it. I love her as a character. I really need to reread this series. But she is just amazing. Everything about her is amazing. I love her so freaking much. She has my entire heart and she makes some terrible ass decisions. But I can't help but love her and sympathize with her anyway just because like it's Evie O'Neill. <laughs> Next is Heart of Stone. Stone is a non-canon OTP or a canon one that didn't get enough page time. For this one I decided to go with Daisy and Miles from Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins just because I loved their whole dynamic. I loved Daisy as a character, I loved Miles as a character, and I really loved them together and I think that because it's kind of a slower burn as you will, they don't really get together till the very end. Uh, I think they deserve more page time and I know we do get to see them a little bit in Her Royal Highness, but I still think they deserved more because they're wonderful. Next is House of Hobine. For House of Holbein, you are supposed to pick a book that is a female authored book that you read in translation. And unfortunately, I have never read any translated work, specifically any translated work written by a female author. So if you want to recommend me some down below, I know I'm very sheltered in this fact, but I do really want to get into more translated works, especially by female authors. So please leave me your recommendations down below because I want to see what you guys come up with. Next is Get Down. Fill my goblet up to the brim Sipping on mead and I smell it on my dress With a gold flesh trim Not very prim and proper Can't make me stop I wanna go hunting any takers I'm a fakers I've got acres and acres Paid for with my own riches Where my hands have released the bitches Woof for Get Down, all you need to do is name a character that you'd like to get down with, whether that means party with, like date, sexually get down with, whatever. And for this, I'm going with Mare from Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst, because all of the above. I would love to party with her. Let's go fucking ride some horses together. Like, let's go on some jumping trail rides, some cross country shit. Like, let's make out. Let's do all that. Like, let's have some fun. Let's do it, fam. Let's do it. Next is All You Wanna Do, which again is my favorite ever. I you want to do pick a book that would have been better without the romance or 
a female character you feel was unfairly defined by her romantic relationships. For this, I'm going to be going with Izzy from the exact opposite of okay, because obviously with what this whole story is about, how she gets blackmailed with her nudes for the sexual relations that she has, I feel like she is very unfairly treated just based on the romantic and sexual actions that she had. Um, all of it stems from her having sex with a politician's son and then sending nudes and her nudes get leaked and it just blows out of proportion after there. I feel like that's very, very much the definition of being unfairly treated because of her sexual and romantic relations, which no woman should have to go through whatsoever. Next up is I Don't Need Your Love. I don't need your love you're supposed to share a seriously underrated female author and I actually have three all of them I've only read one book but I am really interested in reading more from the first is Sarah Farzan who I have read tell me again how a crush should feel um, and I absolutely loved it tell me again how a crush should feel follows a lesbian Persian girl as she has to come out to her family and is going through her first like romantic relationship and how that is going and it's just absolutely amazing and I love it so much. Ironically all three of these authors I read queer books by them but that's fine right? The second is Amy Spaulding and the book that I read it by her was The Summer of Jordi Perez and the Best Burger in Los Angeles which like I said is about a lesbian girl getting into her first relationship after she got this internship that she really wanted over the summer and this girl that she is in a relationship or trying to get into a relationship with has the tandem half of the internship and so she kind of has to deal with there's a fall job that goes along with it who's going to get the fall job as well as all of this substance of the new relationship going along with it. And the third is J. Robin Brown who I have read Georgia Peaches and Other Forbidden Fruits by which is about a girl whose father is a Lutheran radio show host and as they are moving to a smaller town in Georgia, she kind of has to go back into the closet and deal with not being out while falling in love with this girl who is also in love with her and all of her like things with her stepmother who she just who her father just got married to and all those sorts of things and like I said all of these are seriously underrated books I haven't really heard anyone talk about these books but they're all so so amazing and all the authors are so so amazing as well and I highly recommend all of them and finally is six <laughs> supposed to tell about one of your favorite fictional female friendships or girl squads and I think hands down one of my absolute favorites that I haven't mentioned the book before in this tag is Angelica and Avani from With a Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. Their friendship is so deeply rooted in protecting each other despite everything that happened to each of them in tandem as far as Angelica coming out as liking girls and Amani being pregnant at school and it was just such an amazing thing to see them stick together through all of that and how they protected each other because that's something that I would do for my friends and my friends would do back for me and it was 
amazing to see that kind of support system between those two girls and they were just so strong and so amazing together and I'm literally about to start crying. I love them so much. So that was the Six of Musical book tag round two for me and you know I love this so much. I was feeling a little bit down and being able to listen to the entire musical soundtrack was amazing and I loved listening to it again after the like 1200th time maybe maybe not that much but i listen to it a lot let me know down in the comments below your answers to any of these questions anything you would like to see from me next what your favorite like what's your favorite queen from this musical i want to know because like howard is obviously my favorite but like let me know because i want to know and as always make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you sometime for a new one bye